Hello, my name is Yaroslav Pankovsky, and I am a solution specialist at Ancore Business Solutions. This article continues the topic dedicated to dimensions, and it focuses on uh, how to block dimension combinations, and we are going to discuss it in connection with NAP 2018 and Dynamics 365 Business Central. This topic may be of interest to users of other versions of these applications, both who have been using it before and those likely who will be using other future versions of this application because this function is similar in at least previous versions of the applications and also can be similar in the future as well. I would like to take you through a few other articles that are available on Encore blog and uh, uh, that form a part of this series. So the first article was dedicated to dimensions in general and defined dimensions and dimension values and has explained different types of dimensions in the application. The second article focused on how to create dimensions and dimension values. And the third article explained how to assign dimensions to master data and GL accounts in the application. Again, today we are going to cover a new topic and specifically we'll see how to block dimension combinations. Now, this function can be of interest to companies due to multiple reasons. Probably the two biggest ones are, number one, to increase the precision of financial reporting, and number two, to avoid errors. Of course, this, this function can also help uh, in different areas. And um, today we are going to see how the, these two goals can be achieved as well as others that uh, your company may have. So these goals can be achieved by actually blocking some of the dimensions or at least some dimension values. So how do we locate this particular function? Well, in Dynamics 365 Business Central and the NAV, it's possible to go to the search box and type the function in the search box. In NAV, it is also possible to go to the departments, navigate to the financial ma management section, go to the setup, finally to administration, where we can locate the dimension section and the dimension combinations of choice. Now, what you can see on this page, very simply, you can see all the dimensions that are available in the system. You can see some, them both here as well as here. So, for example, area, area, business group, business group, and so on. Now, let's say your company would like to uh, disable your uh, purchasers from uh, interacting with customers. So that totally makes sense. Purchasers should be responsible for purchases and not for sales. Therefore, to avoid any instances in which a purchaser may want to create a sales invoice, as an example, uh, we want to uh, prevent this by blocking these two dimensions. So two dimension combinations, to use the terminology of today's uh, video and post. So how to do it? Very simply, locate the intersection of these two dimensions. So here it is, customer group and the uh, purchaser. So click here, it will um, give you an ellipsis button. So click on it. By default, all the combinations are set to no limitations, which means that any dimension can be uh, used with any other dimension. Any dimension value of a particular dimension can be combined with any other dimension value of another dimension. What you want to do in this case is to change this to blocked and click on OK. You can see that two at the same time, two cells have changed. And this is because there are two identical mirror uh, intersections. So customer group here, so customer group and purchaser as well as here. So customer group and purchaser. That is normal. That is how the system works. From now on, any purchaser who is trying to create a sales invoice with a customer will be unable to do so. Of course, it is important, first of all, to set up such dimensions as purchasers and customer group, and second, to assign these to your customers and to users who um, have the role of purchasers in your company. After that, you can block this dimension combination if you would like to. 
Now, what if you have a little bit more complex scenario? For example, you would like to be able to uh, assign certain customer groups to certain salespeople. Well, why you may want to do it? Because you have specially dedicated people who should interact with different customers, but also maybe you want to be able to double check uh, on the commission. So and want to increase the precision of your commission reporting and therefore hopefully increase the satisfaction of the salespeople because they will be receiving exactly what uh, expected. In that case, you want to set a limited type of the dimension combination. So, so far we have seen uh, that all the default ones are no limitation. Uh, we can also block, but we can also set this to limited. So let's locate the intersection of these two dimensions. So again, customer group, but this time salesperson. I'm going to click on this cell, which is uh, right here. And I'm going again to click on the assist button. However, this time I'm not going to choose block, but rather limited, and I'm going to hit OK. And see again, it appears in two uh, uh, spots in perfectly normal. Now, next step you need to do to make this work is to click on the else's button again. And this time uh, the system gives you uh, this uh, uh, little window with a message. Do you want to see the list of values? Yes, that's exactly what we want. And you can see that uh, all the available uh, sales people are set up here and my uh, customer groups appear here. All right, so what uh, we need to be aware of, well, similar with the previous case, of course, you want to make sure that uh, your dimensions corresponding to salespeople as well as salespeople on the sales people and purchasers page are set up correctly. And of course, you want to make sure that the customers are set up and assigned in the system correctly too. I'm assuming that all these things have been done and therefore I can proceed and block uh, or set up the things as I want. All right, so here is what I would like to do. I would like to uh, allow my JR, this is my senior uh, salesperson who acts on specific uh, terms. I would like to allow this person to interact, to interact with all three customer groups for that reason. Therefore, I will keep these cells to unblocked so they will be empty again. This will allow this salesperson to interact with any uh, customer group. Now, as for my LM salesperson, I would like this salesperson to be able only to interact with my large customers. So therefore, I'm going to keep this cell in, you know, this intersecting cell uh, blank. But as for the other two, I will block them. As for my MD salesperson, I would like this salesperson to be responsible and to be able to interact only with my medium group of customers. For that reason, large is going to be blocked and small is going to be blocked too. As for my PS salesperson, this salesperson is responsible for small customer group and two other customer groups are going to be blocked for that reason. That's all you need. So this will this setup will mean that JR is responsible and can interact with any customer group. LM will be able only to interact with customers who are pre-assigned with large dimension value. MD salesperson will be able to interact only with medium customers. And finally, PS salesperson will be only able to interact with small customers. And this is how your page will appear. You see nothing has changed here. So it was limited, it stays limited and blocked. You can continue and make more changes as you would like. What is important is that you are able to change this on the go. Let's say you have uh, a new salesperson so you can add the salesperson on the spot and set up the defaults as you would like and uh, define the uh, what categories are going to be open and which ones are going to be uh, blocked. Same thing with dimensions and other dimension values. Again, what are advantages of using uh, uh, dimension combinations is to increase the precision of your reporting as well as to help eliminate errors. And it does work. This function does help a lot. A lot of companies use it. And you may uh, try using it and take advantage of this out-of-the-box function as well. 
I would like to draw your attention to one more last thing is that at Encore, we always try to help our customers achieve uh, their goals with their ERP systems. And this article and this video are contributing to this purpose. But also we are open to your questions. And if you need uh, a little bit of help or if you need substantial help, you can use our website. And this is the contact page of our website. There are a few options how you can contact Encore team and we are happy to assist you with your questions. Thank you. Goodbye.